Welcome back to Firebrand Hobbies. I am your host Tyson. Apologies for the uh, kind of delay in upload schedule. Uh, work has been pretty rough and my motivation to paint has dropped. But, you know, that just happens. It fluctuates ups and downs. But uh, besides that, Neophyte Hybrids are painting five of them, but one of them is a Reductus Saboteur. Um, I painted up the rest of the models off camera just to kind of get a feel of it before I can paint before the video. Um, but the first step is using Basil Canum Gray, whatever it is, uh, the picture of it will be on screen, on all the metallic parts of the models, and I uh, at first didn't put them on the boots and the knee pads and the gloves, but I actually did put them on the boots, knee pads, and gloves, and the uh, rubber parts of the chest piece area for the next step coming up. I have a video that's in the works right now. I haven't been editing that one because my motivation has been dropped and also I've just been doing other things. Um, but uh, the video is about my uh, three first games of 10th edition, so just keep staying tuned for that. Um, it'll come out soon. Uh, but after this step, the next step is using Black Templar on the parts of the model that I was talking about earlier, the boots, the knee pads, and the kind of rubbery parts of the chest piece and the gloves uh, with Black Templar. Um, and prior to doing the way I did it here, I didn't even put the uh, gray contrast paint on those parts. And so the white um, primer that was on the model would bleed through the black and it kind of didn't look great on some of them so the gray kind of helps reduce the uh, harshness of the white bleeding through. The next step starts actually getting into the more detailed part of the model in the kind of the inspiration I was going for and that is using Space Wolves Gray on the tunics and the uniforms of the Gene Sealer Cult models. Um, ironically enough it's going to look like this picture right here pretty much at the end of it but I was actually trying to shoot for a color scheme that looked very similar to my Imperial Guard army because um, I wanted to use my Imperial Guard vehicles with the Gene Stealer Colts because it just makes it easier to collect Gene Stealer Colts because you don't have to buy that much um, but also it, it just would be a fun narrative story that my Imperial Guard army got you know invested in um, so I used Space Wolves Grey on that and then um, as you see in the art picture, the skin would be Magus Purple, which will come up later, and then Blood Angels Red on like the very little bits and pieces of it. Unlike my Imperial Guard Army, which all their armor is Blood Angels Red. If you want me to go over how I uh, paint my Imperial Guard Army, you can look at my how I painted up my Commissar video, which is actually the first video that I ever uploaded on this channel. It is a little rusty on the editing side of things, but it, that's essentially what the color scheme was. It was just like three colors and that was it. Um, speaking of Blood Angels Red, uh, we now go to that step. And on the Reductive Saboteur, there wasn't really anything to paint red on her clothing. But I did paint red on kind of like her little knickknacks and bombs and stuff. Just show like, you know, warning stuff and whatnot. Um, but on the other models, I painted up like kind of the loincloths that are draping down or just like the weird draping, hanging, I don't know what it's called, the, like little s skirts or something. Uh, maybe they're Scottish and they wear kilts, I don't know. The Reductus Saboteur, I painted up the dynamite stick and essentially all of her mines and stuff that have like a UI kind of pad were with red. Um, and then I put hazard stripes on her little um, her little charge handle thing. And then one of the wires is painted red on that big case because I was going to do red, yellow, blue. Just kind of have it like a, you got to cut one of the three wires or a disarming kind of thing. Um, this step is going in over the skin of the Gene Sealer Colts, showing that they are indeed Xenos and tainted. Um, Magus Purple was applied on the skin itself. And Leviathan Blue was applied on the chitin or the exoskeletons that some of the Gene Sealer Colts have. Um, the claws on those hands that have like the chitin and whatnot were painted with Black Templars Black. You could also do Leviathan's Blue 
also if you really wanted to. It's up to you. You can choose. I actually was debating on what the color scheme of the skin would be for these guys um, for quite some time actually before I started even buying models for this faction. Um, I was debating on doing like a Martian green look but then I looked to my left and then there's Death Guard and Nurgle. Essentially most of my channel videos at the moment are of Death Guard and Nurgle and I was like I paint green too much. So, uh, I was debating on yellow at one point but I just couldn't see it and so I, I looked online and I saw this color scheme and I was like you know what it looks good so I'm just gonna stick with it um, but yeah that that's how this is the story of my color scheme thought process uh, this step is using imperial fist yellow on kind of just the random details and stuff uh, I used it on the medallions of the gene stealer cults please just paint it gold i go back over it later after the video to paint it gold because i didn't like it um i even painted the wires yellow for some reason when i should be painting it like snake bite leather or whatnot um but the yellow was also used on the little flood lamps or little like headlamps or whatever that the uh, Gene Sealer cults have and their eyes. Their eyes actually glow yellow. You probably won't be able to see it in the thing. Um, this step's using Militarum Green on the frag grenades that all of them, well, most of them have on their model and um, some of the Reductus Saboteurs' other knickknacks that she had. Um, this step is using Stink Bike Leather and painting up her backpack and using skeleton horde on her little uh, wire wheel that she had and using um, uh, word wood on the wire itself because I didn't like how it was going and so I just wanted to try to fix it. The Reductus Saboteur was pretty much the last step that I was doing before I was finished up with all my models. Uh, just kind of fixing up some mistakes I made and um, adding in the small little details on the mind token, uh, the little red button on her little hand switch, and painting the side of her face with Caribou Crimson of the burn marks that she has, and then painting up the rocks with Skeleton Horde. Um, but yeah, after all said was done, I was completely finished up with my Gene Stealer Colts. Well, Neophy Hybrids. You know what I mean. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for upcoming videos. I will be posting again on a regular basis. So I'll see you guys in the next video.